47 cranes, billions of dollars, and a dream so ambitious it was left abandoned for nearly a decade. This is Jeddah Tower. Saudi Arabia's bid to build the first skyscraper that reaches a full kilometre into the sky. For years, the project sat frozen, half-built, with the world asking, was this the tallest failure in history? But now, construction has resumed. So the question is, will it finally be finished or collapse under its own ambition? Let's find out. The tower that almost disappeared. When it was announced in 2013, Jeddah Tower was designed to rise to 1,000 metres, 3,281 feet. Nearly 600 feet taller than the Burj Khalifa, it promised to be a vertical city of 167 floors, with apartments, hotels, offices and open-air terraces above the clouds. The plan was to crown Jeddah with a symbol of modernity, a beacon on the Red Sea, and a statement to the world that Saudi Arabia was ready to step onto the global stage in a new way. For the kingdom, this tower wasn't simply a record breaker. It was a message, an icon, meant to redefine how people think about life in the desert. Construction began with speed and confidence. Foundations were poured, Concrete cores rose, and floor after floor climbed skyward. By 2017, the tower had already reached 250 meters, taller than most skyscrapers in the world. Then, everything came to a halt. A tangle of problems, funding shortfalls, corruption investigations, shifting oil prices, stopped progress cold. For years, the half-complete structure stood in silence. The desert winds whipped around an unfinished core of concrete and cranes froze in place like skeletal reminders of what could have been. Locals grew used to the site. Tourists looked up and asked, what happened to that building? And for a time, it seemed Jeddah Tower would remain an empty shell, a monument to lost ambition. The restart. But recently, something changed. Crews have returned. New contracts were signed. Equipment is moving again. And the giant skeleton of the tower has sprung back to life. For Saudi Arabia, resuming construction is about more than a skyscraper. It's about credibility. Vision 2030, their massive economic transformation plan, leans on symbols of progress. And nothing symbolizes progress quite like a tower that reaches the clouds. Yet, restarting is not the same as finishing. Costs have soared, technology has evolved, and global eyes are watching every move. The stakes are higher now than they were in 2013. Engineering a monster. At 1,000 meters, the greatest challenge is invisible, the wind. At such heights, wind doesn't just push, it twists and pulls, creating powerful vortexes that can tear apart buildings. The same phenomenon destroyed the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in 1940. Imagine that, but at three times the height of the Empire State Building. The answer came in the form of a Y-shaped footprint. Three wings sprouting from a central core, like petals of a desert flower, twisting to survive in harsh conditions. This shape disrupts wind patterns, scattering vortex forces instead of allowing them to build up. And then there's the material. While most towers of this size rely on steel, Jeddah Tower uses concrete all the way to the top. Not just ordinary concrete, ultra high performance mixes designed to grow stronger over time. In the desert, where heat swings from scorching days to cool nights, steel would expand and contract, weakening over decades. Concrete resists that. It's steady, reliable and perfect for this scale. What's rising in Jeddah is less a steel skeleton and more a single sculpted form carved from reinforced concrete, designed to channel every natural force directly into the ground beneath. The foundation below. 
and what a foundation it is. To support a structure this tall, engineers had to create one of the most powerful base systems in history. A five metre thick raft of solid concrete spreads the load, while 270 piles, each 1.8 metres wide and drilled 105 metres deep, anchor it into limestone and gravel. These piles reach deeper than the foundations of the Burj Khalifa, spreading the weight of the tower across layers of rock like roots of a colossal tree. The foundation itself weighs more than some skyscrapers. Every single element of it had to be mapped against detailed geological surveys, because even one weak layer of soil could have doomed the entire project. Life in the clouds. But a tower is more than foundations and walls. It's about the people who will live and work inside. Jeddah Tower will contain 59 elevators, some travelling double-deck cabins at record-breaking speeds. Traditional steel cables would snap under their own weight at this height, so engineers turned to carbon fibre, lighter, stronger and far more reliable. At full speed, passengers will soar upward at 10 metres per second, 22 miles per hour, rocketing toward the clouds. Imagine pressing a button in the lobby and arriving at an observation deck halfway to the stratosphere in less than a minute. At level 157, visitors will step onto a circular terrace open to the sky at 660 meters. Here, the wind can reach 200 kilometers per hour. Yet thick laminated glass and a floor designed to flex slightly with gusts will keep visitors safe. Standing there, you'll be higher than most clouds, looking down on the Red Sea from a platform unmatched anywhere on Earth. A vertical city in the desert. Jeddah Tower is planned as an entire city stacked into the air. Apartments, luxury hotels, offices, gyms, restaurants and even sky lobbies will create a vertical neighbourhood in the sky. The design doesn't just fight the desert environment, it works with it. Notched sides of the tower cast shifting shadows, reducing heat by up to 30%. Low emissivity glass blocks infrared radiation while keeping panoramic views clear. Its architecture built not to resist the desert, but to harmonize with it. If finished, Jeddah Tower will house thousands of people in a single footprint, using less ground space than traditional urban sprawl. The big question. The return of construction has reignited hope. It has created jobs, restored excitement, and reminded the world why this project mattered in the first place. But the challenges remain. Costs have already soared into the billions. Every delay adds new risks. And every metre higher increases the engineering complexity. If completed, Jeddah Tower won't only be the tallest building on Earth, it will stand as proof that human determination can overcome the harshest environments, that we can literally build cities in the clouds. But if it falters again, it may be remembered as the tallest unfinished dream in history. What do you think? Can Saudi Arabia deliver the world's first kilometre-high skyscraper? Or will Jeddah Tower collapse under the weight of its ambition? Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more stories of the world's most ambitious builds.